actually having some people over this Sunday and I need to clean this place up. So I've decided to get this over with as quickly as possible. I'm going to give myself two hours to clean up this whole back area and then I am done. I'm really not looking forward to doing this. There's a lot of weeding to do. There's a lot of cutting back of some of these bushes and plants that are in this back area. I've got a side area that actually needs to be whipper snippered. I've got to sweep out all of this patio and I'm going to plant those flowers. I've also noticed there's a lot of cobwebs. Probably gonna to have to clean those up too. So what are the rules of engagement? Number one, I actually have chronic fatigue syndrome. If I need to take a break, I'm gonna press pause on the timer and sit down and have a cup of tea or whatever I need to do to regroup. Number two, anything that doesn't get done within that two hours is gonna be left until the next time. Number three, I don't have anyone to help me around here, so it's gonna be just me. So I'm gonna need something to get me motivated. So let's cue some excellent music and let's get started. going to cut back this rosemary, get it detangled from all these other plants and this vine. seems to be strangling everything. It's even got that chicken. I just pulled a bit of something out of that poor chicken bath. Right, these chickens can go back in and move on.
Well, I'm nearly at the halfway mark, and I have to tell you, I'm getting a little bit worried that I've taken on too much, and I'm not sure how I'm going to get all of this done. I've still got all of this weeding along the side to do, trimming all of these trees, and plus I haven't even started on the, all the cobwebs and all the other cleanup that has to happen in the back. So I just hope I'm going to be able to get this done. an area of the property that actually use that much so I actually just need this to be neat and I'm not going to spend too much time on it just to clean up. <laughs> actually a bit naughty and didn't wear protective eye goggles while I was using the whipper snipper. I usually have my glasses on but today I'm wearing contacts so yeah don't try this at home. I've actually done quite a bit more. I've weeded most of the garden now and trimmed back the bushes and plants that I can trim. There's some ones that hang over from the neighbor's fence and there's also another one that sort of grows up from that pot I'd actually have to get a professional gardener in to do those. The space is a little bit more than I can handle. And in fact, when I was looking for a place to live, I really wanted something that had a low maintenance garden. And I'd been living in a place that was not far from here and they just kept putting up the rent. It was getting a little bit too expensive and I wanted to stay in the same area. This is such a lovely neighborhood. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to live here. It's really close to the park where if you've seen my videos, you would have seen me walking through there. It's quiet, it's fairly safe. So there are a lot of good reasons to be here. I don't know what it's like where you are, but a lot of the units in Australia, there might be two or three or four, sometimes even 10 units on one block. And so you're kind of always sharing your driveway and part of your space with your neighbors. But this unit was built on the back of another house. It's like a little separate house. And when I first got here and looked around, I thought there was something. Even though it was quite old and obviously needed a lot of work, and you would have seen in the garden here, there are planks along this bracing wall that need to be replaced. And I've actually told the owner about that. I don't know why I've still got my gloves on. I'm gonna just take them off for a minute while I sit and have a break. I, I guess I'm a little bit concerned that they might just decide to get rid of this whole garden bed and it really is lovely. I really like to, while I'm in the kitchen or when I'm in the home office, to look out and see the greenery at the back here. So it is something that I care about and I, I really hope that they repair it because it's quite charming out here. The unit itself, even though it's old and the carpets are really terrible and the paintwork is appalling, it's just got lovely light and it really feels like home, you know. So even though this place had quite a bit of garden, I decided to move in for all of those reasons that I've mentioned. And I've been so happy here. The unit's actually nestled in between three houses all around, so I feel really safe. The garden is just something I have to put up with. And I have sometimes had people in to clean up and do that for me, but it's expensive to do that. And so... This time I've decided to do the cleanup on my own, but yeah, it's hard. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling really tired now. I'm feeling the effects of all of the plants and things like that on my skin and in my eyes. And yeah, I'm, I've kind of had enough and I've still got quite a bit to do. I've still got to decobweb the place and sweep out this whole area and plant the pots. And I've got 50 minutes left. So it feels like a lot of work. I'm just going to finish my water and and then I'm going to get cracking, as they say, and whip this place into shape. Hopefully I'll get that done within the two hours. 
my chair was wet and I've got a wet bum now. Lovely. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. push you back a little bit so I don't get dust all over my lovely camera. I hope you can see all right from here. Time to get the cobwebs out. In the home stretch. I'm cutting it a little bit fine. I've got 24 minutes left on the clock and I've got the last tidying to do and the planting. So here's hoping I'll make my deadline.
I just checked the clock. I've only got 11 minutes. Ah! Damn it! Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Ah. I can't believe I did it. Let's check in to see how I went with the time. When I started the clock, the projected finishing time was 2.47 p.m. Remember, rule number one was that I could pause the timer at any point if I needed a break. The actual finishing time was 3.12 p.m., which means I took around 25 minutes of breaks, most of which was at the halfway point. I have to admit that I slammed the flowers in the pots. I didn't treat them very nicely. <laughs> and I, I'm not sure how they turned out, but we'll have a look in a minute. I did get everything that I wanted to get done. One thing that happened was I actually ran out of soil. So I couldn't plant all the plants. I did as many as I could and I reused some soil from another pot. But yeah, I'm not sure how the plants are going to go, whether they're going to survive or not, because I literally just threw them in the pots. But I did manage to do everything else. So why don't we have a look at the results and see what you think. <music> for joining me today for my two-hour garden challenge. I hope that you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.